Good afternoon, everyone. This is Nadia Sobrati coming to you live from Queens, New York at NadiaSobrati.com. How is everyone doing today? I hope you all are doing well. I'm not sure if the volume is actually on in this thing, but let me see. Oh. I'm not sure. Hey, Norma, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Because I'm not sure if the volume is on. Guys, if you can hear me, please comment yes on the comment section. Because I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. I don't know. It's on. Okay, thank you so much, Norma. <clears throat> hey, Sarah, how are you? Oh my gosh, Sarah, I had a great time with you on, on the leadership cruise. Hey, Diane, how are you? Beautiful. How are you guys doing today? Hey, Rizwan, how are you? So I have a lot of people joining me, so I actually want to share this into my fan page because, you know, I have a lot of people on my fan page that can actually view this video, you know, right now. So, um, <clears throat> so what's going on, everyone? Hope you guys are doing well. And um, actually, Facebook is still building my audience, so I want to wait for... Hey, Clarence, what's up, my friend? What are you doing? So give me one second, guys. I just want to share this... Uh, Hey PJ, what's going on PJ? How are you? Wow, you know, I have I've been getting like a lot of new people lately that I've never even had a conversation with, you know? And um But guys, yeah, I I'm going to get started. So can you actually believe it? It's been 1 year. It's been 1 year since I've been in in in, in this business. Um hey Ali, how are you doing? So guys, it's been 1 year, right? It's been 1 year I've been on been an online marketer. And you know, some of you <clears throat> already know my story and how I ended up here, but for most of you, you don't know my story, right? So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story and how I ended up here and talk about my, my one year journey as an online marketer, right? Well, thank you, Clarence, thank you. <clears throat> oh my gosh, guys. You know, fall season's the worst for me. Okay, so, you know guys, a year ago, right? Exactly a year ago, I was, uh, looking to start a business. You know, I already had a business, it wasn't working out, I wasn't doing well. And I was like at home, right? And I was like on Facebook, and this is where I met Shid. And we started talking. Anyway, make a long story short, I ended up, he ended up uh, signing me up with MLSP, right? And this was, guys, this was the very first thing I did. This was the very first thing I did. Because I had no idea, no knowledge of online marketing or any of this. I came from a healthcare background, guys. I spent many, many years in school. Many years, I got one degree, then I got another degree, then I did the double masters, and I, stu I studied the double masters, and I studied, right? And guess what, guys? There's no job security. There's no job security, and I couldn't find a job, right? I couldn't find a job that was actually a, a good paying job. I mean, they were paying low wages, and you know, here I am, you know, stuck in, I have all these, you know, thousands of dollars in student loans that I spent in school. If I was introduced to this business before, if I was introduced to this business before, God alone knows how far I would have, I would have come in like, you know, six, six, seven years. Because this is what I spent in school, right? This is what I spent, this, this is how many years I spent in school studying. Hey, Ataro, thank you for joining me. So anyway, make a long story short, I signed up with MLSP, guys. And the first three months, I went into learning mode. I went into learning mode because all I was doing was learning, 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 right? I wasn't getting results because all I was doing was learning. You know, anyway, I started going live. I, I, yeah, I started going live, right? And my first video, guys, I was terrified. I, I mean, I wasn't really terrified, but I was so nervous. I was so nervous. I was w w looking all over the place, watching everywhere, you know, until I, I knew, you know, I, had, I didn't have a plan B because I didn't want to go on another job interview. I didn't want to have to sit at another, have an interview, interviewer interviewing me. Why do you need this job? Asking me all these questions. I didn't want to do that anymore. I did not want to do that anymore. And honestly, I'm not cut out to be an employee. I am not cut out to be employee, an employee. I'm cut out to be my own boss. You know, and this is just, I've always been this way. I've always worked for myself when I was younger. I always made my own money. You know, but here I am. I mean, back then, here I am. You know, I decided to go back to school thinking, okay, you know what? Here I am, I'm gonna get a good job. Healthcare is the place to be. So I wanted to study, you know, I, I got all these degrees. And where it got me, it looks beautiful on my wall. It looks really, yeah, I have like what, 18 certificates on the wall? 
18 certificates, I have my degrees on the wall, and guys, it looks pretty on the wall. That's all it's doing. My degrees looks beautiful on the wall, and all these certificates that I acquired through the years of studying, right? Did it land me a good paying job? No. It didn't land me a good paying job, all right? Anyway, that's, you know, that's, that's that part of my life. But I want to talk to you all about this one-year journey. So I, w I got into this business, guys. I had no idea what I was doing. I had no idea what I was doing. I never even heard the terms attraction marketing. Never even heard the terms attraction marketing, right? And, um, you know, I started, um, you know, learning the skills and all of this stuff. And, you know, it's been an amazing journey. It's been an amazing journey because I actually, you know, I, I got a coach, you know, because in this business, you need a coach. You need a mentor, guys. You need someone that's going to guide you through the steps. The first three months, I wasn't getting results because I was in learning mode. I was in learning mode. But you know what? I was doing videos every day. I challenged myself because I knew, you know, that's where I was weak. I was so weak in doing videos because I was so nervous. I was so worried about what the world would think about me until I became very comfortable with myself. And then I, then I didn't really care afterwards what anyone thought about me. You know, I started telling my life story. I started doing a lot of trainings. I started letting the world know who I am. And guess what, guys? My business started taking off. My business started taking off. I, you know, I started reaching out to people. And yes, recruiting in the beginning, I was a little, you know, I, recruiting for me was a little daunting in the beginning because I was like, oh my God, here I am talking to these people. And my first business opportunity, I didn't do well. They were like, make a list, talk to 100 people a day. I did all of that. But what I realized was this is a relationship building business. And you just can't make a list of 100 people. Okay, and just reach out to them and, and, and try to prospect them or try to try to, you know try to get them to join your opportunity. So what I've learned through you know the, this whole year and the reason why I'm doing well now is because I built a solid relationships with these people before I even talked to them about my opportunity. And I started going live every day. I started connecting with people. I started becoming their friend. All right. So I wasn't pitching anyone. I wasn't pitching anyone. The same way I would talk to my family or my friends is the same way I will talk to everyone that I meet on Facebook or any of these other social media platforms, right? So I built relationships with them. And, you know, when I uh, started another opportunity, that's when I started talking to them. You know what I mean, guys? That's when I started really, like, started recruiting. And I started talking to a lot of people. But I didn't make a list. I did not make a list. I just started talking to a lot of people. And because, hey, Linda, hey, David, and because they knew who I was, that's why they started joining me. And the reason why they started joining me, guys, is because I started going live. It's because I started going live. I started talking about my story. I started letting people know. I started letting people into my life. You know, I started letting people know my struggles, things I've went through in the past. You know, so when you start telling people your story and you start telling them, letting them know who you are inside out and your struggles and what you've been through, guys, this is how you're going to build a relationship with them. This is how people are going to feel like they know you and they connect with you. All right. We all have a different story. My story was I couldn't find a job in my discipline, you know, and I didn't want to work for anyone anymore. I didn't want to go on another job interview. And this was how I ended up here. Right. And guys, this has been an amazing journey because I met so many amazing people on this journey. I met so many great leaders that actually helped me on this journey. I couldn't have done this on my own. We all need someone to help us. We all need someone to help us. Uh, going live is the fastest path to cash. Linda, exactly. Linda, exactly. And I, hey, Vanita. And I don't know why so many of you are so scared, guys. I don't know why so many of you are so scared to go live. If you really want your business to take off the way mine has, you need to go live. All right? I'm proof right here. I'm proof right here. Today has made it one year. Today has made it one year, my one year anniversary being an online marketer. Yes, my, and you know, I actually did a post earlier and I showed you guys my very first video. Guys, I'm too embarrassed to even look at it, but I posted for the world to see. I posted the world for, for all of you guys to see. My video wasn't great. Guys, I couldn't even stay focused. I was looking elsewhere. I was moving around the camera because the nervousness just got the better of me. My heart was racing. And this was a year ago. My heart was racing. I had to have a couple glasses of wine before I could actually have the confidence to go live and do what I'm doing now you know hey will hey Linda oh my gosh Linda yes guys all of our videos sucked 
All of our videos sucked in the beginning. But you know what? I challenged myself because I knew that I wanted this more than anything else in the world and I, and I didn't want to go back on another job interview and have to tell the interviewer why I need this job and you know what attributes am I bringing to their company and all of this crap. The reason why you go on a job interview, guys, is because you need a job. You have bills to pay and then these interviewers are going to ask you these questions. Like seriously? So I, when I started this business, I, I decided that I will never again go on another job interview. Was it easy for me to get these results? No. Did I work my ass off? Yes. I was working 15 hours a day, seven days a week. I give up family reunions, family vacations. Uh, my friends invited me out to dinners and stuff. Hey, Kimberly. My friends invited me out to dinners and stuff like that. I told them I was busy, you know, because I was working. I was so determined. I was so determined to, to get results and, and get this to work. You know, I um, and I'm all um, and I'm on all the other social media platforms too. And guys, I connected with a lot of top leaders that has helped me on this journey. A lot of the top leaders. I connected with Linda. Linda is a great leader because I'm still learning from Linda and she's also my business partner. And I'm learning from Linda also. Because in this business, you're always going to be learning. You're always going to be learning. And Linda, thank you. Uh, thank you, you know, for crossing my path and you and I connected on a deeper level that you know, we connected and we're actually helping so many people. Guys, Linda and I, we're doing challenges every 10 days. We're doing challenges and we have an ongoing thing. We're helping so many people, you know, we're helping so many people. And when you're determined, when you're determined and you really want something to work, guys, you will do whatever it takes. You will do whatever it takes to, to, to get it, you know, to get your business going. And you know what? My business is, go is running smoothly now. You know, because I've learned the skills. I've learned the skills, guys. I, you know, I can't say that I struggled because I didn't struggle. I knew what I had to do. I knew that I had to plug in with some of the top leaders. I knew I had to go to events. I knew I had to be plugged into all the, you know, the, 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 the platforms, the training platforms. I knew I had to learn a lot of things. Because, guys, I came from a healthcare background. No knowledge of any of this. I'm doing something totally different than what I went to school for. And guess what, guys? I studied for many, many years. I studied for many, many years because I wanted to be in healthcare. All right? But you know what? I love what I'm doing now because I have freedom. Guys, I can work anywhere in the world. Which job you can do that? Which job can you do that? No job. Most people, they get what? Two weeks, two weeks vacation? Two weeks vacation and then you have to go back to a job that you hate and you're being, uh, you know, you, you're being paid uh, low wages. You, you're living paycheck to paycheck. You're struggling on a daily basis. You have to go to your job that you hate. No, I don't have to do that. I don't have to do that. And you know what? Guys, I knew that I was going to make this work no matter what. I knew what I had to do. And you know something? I didn't struggle because I knew it was going to take time for me to make money. I knew that I wasn't going to make money overnight. All right? And a lot of people, you know, some, yeah, I get people messaging me, well, Nadia, how much money am I going to make in, in like one month? Like seriously, guys? Well, these same people, they're seeing other scammers posting stuff in groups that, oh yeah, you can make $10,000 in one month. Or you can make, you, you want to make 20 grand in one month? Like seriously? These things, it doesn't work that way. I am so glad our path crossed. Linda, oh my God, I love you, Linda. You and I connected, you know, thank God for, for me meeting you. Because, you know, it's, it's, this was meant to be. This was meant to be. And guys, this is where, th this is it for me. This is it for me. I will never go on another job interview. I will never go on a job interview. I'd rather work for myself and build my own business. You know, so yes, it's been a year. It's been a year and um, here I am. Here I am, you know. And um, guys, I ranked four times. I ranked four times and I'm 11% away from ranking the fifth time. You know what I mean? And this is, this is in two of my business opportunities, two of them. I still have others, but I'm kind of like putting that on hold right now. I mean, I'm, because I'm focusing on a 90 day, uh, rec, uh, 90 day blitz right now with my team and training them on all of this stuff. Uh, this is it for me. No plan B. Exactly. Linda, Linda, exactly. Thank you, David. But guys, you know what? So many of you, so many of you are scared. You're scared to take the chance. You're scared to invest money because you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself. Hey, Kimberly. Uh, guys, 
so many of you, you know, you want to you wanna make, you know, six figures or whatever it is you want to make, right? But you expect to like do nothing and, and just make that money? No, guys. We do a lot of work behind the scenes. We do a lot of work behind the scenes. Sometimes our computer goes down. Like, and you know what? I'm not a technical person. I can't fix these things. Right now, I'm using my friend's computer because I refuse to take a day off from work when I have to train my team, you know? And, but this is it. A lot of people don't realize. They, you know what a lot of you guys don't see? The hard work we do behind the scenes. Yes, you see we go live. You see us go live and we're talking and, and, and you know, maybe doing a training or educating you guys <clears throat> or talking about our lifestyle or whatever it is, right? This is all you guys see. You don't see the hard work we do behind the scenes. And listen, in this business, you're not going to make money overnight. You're not going to make money overnight. I struggled for years and I refused to give up. Exactly. Linda struggled for years, guys, and she refused to give up. And Linda is getting results. Linda ranked, you know, she was on uh, the MLSP monthly, um, you know, list, you know, for the, you know, and she did really well. You know what I mean? But guys, you don't rank. These things don't happen if you're like sleeping. Okay. You have to work hard. You have to work extremely, extremely hard. All right. To get these type of results. And this is what a lot of people don't see. So yes, I give up on, on, you know, I give up on a lot, guys. I've even lost friends on this journey, but it doesn't matter because they wasn't really my friends. Because if they were my real friends, they would understand that I'm building my career and I'm building a business. I don't have a boss. I am the boss. I'm working for myself. And when you work for yourself, guys, and you're the boss, you're going to work your ass off to get the results you're getting. All right? And, and people, you know, don't get me wrong. I'm not, uh, you know, talking bad about a job. I think a job is great for people that wants to work for someone else and make someone else rich. A job is just not for me. A job is not for me, you know. But yes, I knew I had to plug in to everything, to all the trainings, guys. Guys, the first three months in this business, I went into learning mode. Honestly, I went into learning mode. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't even know how to build a funnel. I didn't even know how to create a capture page. The first funnel I built took me four hours. And I, and I, and I did a training that my coach... <clears throat> sent me the training that, you know, he did, right guys? It took me four hours to do a funnel. It took me four hours to do a funnel. Now I could build a funnel in 10 minutes, you know what I mean? Or a capture page or whatever it is, right? But guys, it took me four hours, but I was so determined. I was so determined. This is why it took me 15 hours a day working, I swear, you know? But now I'm doing all of that, and now I can teach people how to do all these things. Now I can coach people how to do all these things. But yes, you know, in the beginning for me, it was a learning process and I am still learning. I am still learning. So I've came a long way in one year. I've came a long way in one year. Sorry, but jobs just overbroke. You know, exactly, David. So many people with, that are very highly educated, they're living paycheck to paycheck. They can't afford to pay their bills. Okay, especially if they have children. Forget about it. New York City, New York City is very, New York City is very expensive, guys. New York City is very, very expensive. I have a three bedroom place that I'm living in, you know, and it's expensive. You got bills and all of this stuff. You know what I mean? You're always learning. Exactly, Linda. Linda is right. Guys, in this business, you're always going to be learning because things are always changing and you have to be up to date with everything. You have to be up to date with everything, you know, and, um, but yes, guys, I sacrifice a lot. I sacrifice money because you know what? To buy, to, to get into any business as a network marketer, you're spending money, okay? You have to spend money to get in. And you know what I don't get? Guys, we spend money, I've spent money on coaches, I've spent money on, you know, trainings, because I didn't know any of these things. You know, when I got into this business, I did not have anyone to help me. Like what Linda and I were doing right now. We're doing these challenges and we're helping so many people. I didn't have that luxury. I had to pay someone. I had to hire a coach to, to, to help me. You know, and we're doing this for free. We're helping so many people. You know what I mean? And, and so many people still not taking it seriously. And they're still complaining that, you know, they're not doing well. They hate their jobs. Well, you know what? If you hate your jobs and all of this stuff, then do something. Only you could do something to change your life. Only you. And listen, you're going to have to sacrifice. If you want something good for something better, you're going to have to sacrifice a lot. You're going to have to sacrifice time away from your family and friends. Okay, and a lot of them are not going to understand this. A lot of them are not going to understand why you're working 15 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the week. 
They're not going to understand that because you know why? They don't have a vision. They don't have a vision. Okay. They're comfortable with a job. They're comfortable with a job. They don't know what it is to be an entrepreneur. They don't know what it is to be an online marketer. So they're not going to see your vision. But you know what? My advice to you, if you have a vision and you know where you're going, guys, keep pushing. Keep working as hard as you can because you're going to start getting results. The more videos you put out there, the more value you put out there, the more content you put out there, the more people get to see who you are, your business is going to take off. I didn't expect this to take off for me so soon because they always say to you, yeah, the first year is going to be the hardest. The first year is going to be the hardest. But you know what? The first year for me was a learning stage. I was, I was going through like a, a, a learning stage. And I'm still learning, guys. I'm always going to be learning. And who is this guy, Shabab or whatever is his name, just post his number on, on my... Uh, his, his number on my, my live streams. Guys, see what I deal with with these Indian people? And his name is Khan. He's another Indian one. This is the problem I have with all these Indians. Seriously. You know? And I just wish there was a way to block him. But he's going to get blocked after I'm done with this. <clears throat> but um, anyway, guys, I just wanted to share that with you all. So this has been my journey. You know, guys, this has been my journey. And yeah, you know, I, I just... I was so happy when I ranked four times in, in two of my businesses. I was, I was extremely happy and I'm 11%, you know, ranking, ranking number five. So this was like, wow, like, you know, so when you work hard, guys, when you work hard, you, you're actually going to see, okay, someone, um, uh, Will is sent, someone was sending me a broadcast. Let me see. Uh, I don't know. Someone was actually... Someone wanted to join me. Linda, do you want to join me? So guys, I just wanted to share that. So listen, if you're like still second guessing yourself, all right, if you're still second guessing yourself, then you really don't want this. Then you really don't want this. If you really want to be an online marketer and you want to start getting results, you need to be plugged in. You need to be plugged in, guys. You need to be plugged in. And you know what? There's so many people here in this biz, in this journey in, and in this business, in this space that will help you because you're not going to be doing it on your own. I didn't do it on my own. You know, I have a lot of the leaders helping me too because you're, cons you're not going to know all of this on your own. You're not going to know all of this on your own. So my advice is for people that have been thinking about a year ago, should I do this? Should I not do this? Look, I'm right here. I'm getting results. I'm right here. I'm getting results and I'm actually making money too, guys. I'm actually getting residual income now. I'm getting residual income, you know. Okay, Linda, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm gonna add you now. I'm gonna invite you. Um. Okay. So guys, I have a special guest coming on. Linda's going to join me now. Nadia. Hello, Linda. What's yeah. up, beautiful? Okay, you know, it was, um, you have to rotate. Did you know this? You got to rotate your phone. No? Yeah, you ha I had my phone the other way. That's why I couldn't come on. Oh my gosh, so I don't know how to rotate it. <laughs> well, you're, aren't you, ro you're not rotating your phone right now? No, my phone is this way on a, on a, a tripod. Okay, yeah, that's the way it needs to be. I had mine the other way. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So what's up, Linda? Linda, I can't believe I'm in this business one year. <laughs> and I can, yeah, I, I saw you posting that. It was a year ago today you started. Wow. A year ago. Oh, my God, I posted my first video. I'm too embarrassed to watch it. <laughs> you know, and actually the funny thing was I didn't even make it on Facebook for like 10 months. And I was... Wow. I was um, actually one night in my frustration trying to find a job. I ended up on Facebook. Actually, the light's better this way. It's kind of yes. uh, it's kind of cloudy here today. I know, but you look good now. The light looks good. Yeah, it's um because it's overcast outside. But I mean, I um I was still I was so frustrated one night. I ended up I went on Facebook. I don't know why I thought I could find a job, and up in the corner there was an ad, it was for an Empower Network. Uh, yeah, 100% commissions, and that was the first thing I ever joined. Wow. And the, peop the people, the first people I met, they were telling me stuff like, um, you don't need an autoresponder, um, and that kind of stuff. And I knew I needed to find somebody 
yeah. to teach me. Um, because they were all, and actually none of them are around now. They were just all messing around. Um, and then I, I was actually on a call that I heard Diane Hockman talking yeah. a couple times. And that's, and I ended up, that's how I found MLSP. But yeah. Wow. I, it was, you know, um, I'm I so happy that I met Chid and I saw him telling his story that night on Facebook. And right. that's what caught my attention. That's right. what caught and, my attention. And I contacted him that night. I said, what do you do? Remember, I met him a year before, and he didn't tell me what he did, and I didn't ask. And he didn't pitch me. And he but was the I one that introduced you. Him. He, yeah, I reached out to him. And I said, what do you do? I want to do what you're doing. <laughs> and it's, fun, it's funny how, um, and you know him offline, right? Yes, and we met once. He came over here uh, January 2nd of this year to help me set up my blog, because I had no idea what I was doing. And he lives close to you, right? He did. He lived about half an hour away, but now he, and we only saw each other once, you know, and, but, you know, we talk once in a while. He always messaged me, Hey, how are you doing? Cause he is my sponsor, you know, but um, he goes, wow. He goes, congratulations. You're doing so well. You know, he goes, I just want to congratulate. Whenever I hit the next rank, he messages me. Oh my God, you hit another rank. <laughs> well, you know, when you have somebody under you that's ranking and actually I've got somebody he's been with me for like two years. He hit L1 a while ago, but when you have somebody under you that, that you're, they're ranking, it's, it's exciting. It is exciting, you know? So every time I hit a rank in whatever uh, opportunity I'm in, he's like, oh, because, you know, I post it on Facebook. He's like, oh, my God, congratulations. I can't believe it, 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 one year, you know? I can't believe it's one year, and I, I came this far, you know what I mean? It's, ama it's amazing, Nadia. I mean, I know we have only known each we met like in May, but it, it's amazing that you, and I, I probably should have taken a couple months like you did and just really kind of studied stuff. I didn't do that. I was yeah. trying, I mean, I was trying to, and I, I just didn't have, um, the people that I was hooked, I hooked up with, they just, they were just telling me, go just spam your links and you don't need an autoresponder and yeah, you can get some leads, but you're not going to really be able to move anything forward. Yeah. Well, you know what? The reason why I went into learning mode, I had just signed up for MLSP, and you see all the training in the back office, tons and tons of training. So I got plugged into, uh, you know, the five-day wake-up call, I right. was into webinars, right. you know, so I did that for three months. I took a, I took, I, I would take a training every day, and I would go online and teach it. <laughs> that, that's, that's what I did for the first three months, because I didn't know what else to do. That, and um, actually, the fact that, because I know when I joined MLSP, um, that whole thing with the weight, just the wake up calls, because there, I wasn't, I wasn't connecting with anybody like that and yeah. personal development. I didn't even, and that's a big part of it. So, yeah, I mean, I, um, it's a big, you know, and I don't eat when you come down and think about it, because I spent about $3,000 on paper click ads. I bought a website oh, yeah. and I did get traffic to the site, but I know now those websites don't convert very well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, um, and then, you know, you got, you also got hooked up with some um, really good, I don't know how you got hooked up with Mark. Is that You know, I, I'm going to tell you how I got hooked up with Mark. Jazz, right? She bought a course from him, Twitter Lead Machine. Uh, and I was saying to her, I need to generate leads, you know, because everything I was doing, I wasn't generating leads. So she's like, watch this free training. And Mark had a, uh, 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 he had a, um, a pre-launch price. So instead of paying $500 for the course, I paid $97. Oh, so and I sold so many courses, you know, because I was selling them. So it paid back for whatever money I paid. And I don't know how many courses I sold. And that's how Mark and I started talking. And I, I started building a relationship with him. So I've learned so much from Mark because I was after that, I started following Mark. And believe it or not, guys, this is when I started getting results. I wasn't so sure how, how, how did, did you meet Jazz on Facebook? I met Jazz on Facebook through Lee and Todd. Because she had joined one of, I was with them on one business opportunity. And I started, they were coaching me. And that's how I met Jazz. Okay. You know? All right. Because I didn't even really, I didn't see you in the, I got Twitter lead machine last November. And I bought it yeah. at the pre, and I knew Mark from MLSP. And then when he hit L4, and then when he hit member of the month and his webinars. And yeah, I got it at 97 bucks. And I didn't even know, I didn't see you in the group. Um. I, I still didn't know who you were, and until May, yeah. when we both joined the thing with Mark, and then it, he was picking 
you know, and then he started doing those calls. I had, you know, and then when I went over and checked you out um, and checked your profile out um, and thinking, okay, you know, there's got to be a reason that Mark picked you. Um, yeah. And, he um, picked me and he put me on one of his legs. He goes, you know what? You're a leader. And I was like, well, I haven't really done much, right? I know. He goes, it doesn't matter. He goes, I see the qualities in you. He goes, I see you as a leader. He goes, and I'm going to give you one of my legs. <laughs> yeah, and he did that with me too. And I, um... yeah, you know, and listen, Mark and I, we became good friends through the years. Like I messaged him, you know, whatever, like if I need help with anything and he's always there to help me, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's funny how that happens. Cause we didn't really meet. That was May, right? May. And now I'm one of the founding partners in branding U university. Right. So am I. Yeah. It's and funny so how are you, so happen. it's all, you know, Linda, because of Mark, I'm starting to get a lot of results. It's, and it's fun. It's fun. And it, that is the true about it. you're the sum of the five people you hang around with. Yes, it's true. Um, so if you have and I think a lot of people don't get if you've got an opportunity to hang around a mentor, it could be, it. It could be online. And a lot of people won't take advantage of that. And they, they you know, basically change their schedule. Because if you want to hang around a six, seven, eight figure earner, you got you're going to probably have to rearrange your schedule. Most people won't do that. Exactly. But you know what? That's why they're not successful. They want to have, they want to make the six figures, right? They want to make all this money, but right. Linda, they don't want to do the work. It's true. I mean, the, the only reason I, I hit member of the month now and got ranked again, that's six times for me is because I've been doing the work. You have to do the work. You have to do the work. You're not going to rank up if you're not doing the work. Right. And you get, you and know? if you, if you can learn to get yourself in front of a mentor, Take something they taught you or something that they gave you and go execute and get a result and take it back and show them. That's it. And that's what I've done. You know, what Marcus showed me, I took it. I went and I, I did exactly. I, I watch his webinars all the time. Even if I don't catch the live webinar, you know, when he goes live on, you know, I usually catch a replay. And most people won't do that. You know, I catch a replay. So I always know what he's talking about. I stay plugged in, you know. Right. Most people won't do that, Nadia. It's a simple thing. I've done that with a number of people, and I've gotten yeah. attention. Um, you know, to have Doug Fireball call me personally and say, do you want to work with me? I mean, that, it, it was just getting his attention. I mean, if you go get a result, and, they, and you can get yourself in front of that person, because I didn't have any money. I didn't have any money to hire anybody. Yeah. Um, and most people just won't do that. Exec I mean, execution, besides mindset and... Um, you know, just doing the work, execution. You know what I did, Linda? I sacrificed. I used to go out a lot to a lot of dinners, expensive dinners in New York City. You know what I did? I cut out all of that. I started <laughs> preparing my own meals. I started using, you know, that money to invest in my business. And I've, I, and you say, you were saying sacrifice early. I've made a yeah. lot of sacrifices. You have to. You have to. You, if you, you want to. something good for something better, you have to sacrifice. So I start preparing my own meals. Yes, I do go out once in a while to dinner with my friends, but I don't pay for dinner when I go with my friends. I don't, you know, like they take care of everything. You know what I mean? But back then, Linda, this was the first summer. I only went to the beach once. Every summer I would be in the Hamptons, you know, partying all over the place, blowing all this money. But when I started this business, I knew what I wanted. I had no plan B and I was going to invest everything to get to where I want to be. And this is what a lot of people don't get. Right. And I they haven't had, how, they complain that, Oh my gosh, you know, I hate my job. I have no money. But meanwhile, these are the same people that are going out on the weekends, spending money. Guys, this adds up. This adds up. If you really want to, you know, to build your business, you got to sacrifice. So big deal. You're going to be working, but you're working for yourself. Then you're working to make someone else's rich or a right. boss that treats you like crap. And this is what a lot of people don't get, you know, for sure. And my goal is for when I retire, yeah, I'm not going to have a pension and all this, but I, I'm not going to need it. I am not going to need it. This you is put, why I'm working so hard right now. You set yourself on a path that you'll never have to worry about money again. Exactly. But in the beginning, it takes hard work. It takes hard work, guys. And you might end up having some money that you maybe you wanted for something else and taking that money and putting it back into your business somehow. This is it. You got to sacrifice. You do. And this is what a lot of people are not doing. You know, they're yeah. complaining. I don't have $25 or I don't have a hundred bucks. Are you serious? 
guys, listen to me. A hundred dollars, twenty five dollars is nothing. It's nothing. It's nothing. You can go out and buy two packs of cigarettes. Well, I'm just saying. Or you know, you could buy a couple cups of coffee. Or you could just go out. Listen, to buy lunch in New York, twenty five dollars is pretty cheap. <laughs> I'm just it saying. is. I know twenty. I know. You know? So they're gonna complain they don't have twenty five dollars or they don't have a hundred dollars. What about if you had a high ticket item that's three, four thousand dollars? And if right. you can't afford a low ticket item, like seriously, and these are the same people complaining. Right. It, it's it's true. It's true. If you go on Facebook, and everybody's talking about it. I mean, I make jokes about it, but it's true. Everybody's talking about it. Um, what what they're gonna do and never doing it. Yeah, they talk about what they're gonna do, how excited they are, how much, and then. But listen, you guys gotta sacrifice. You really want something? You have to sacrifice. I sacrifice a lot, and I'm probably gonna. You know what? I am happy now I'm at the point where I have residual income coming in. You know, but it takes work. It, it takes does. work, and I am. You know, guys, I, I have an addiction with my computer and with work. <laughs> right. It's yeah. You, you have to. You become. <laughs> um. I, you know, I'll speak for myself, but you become obsessed. I you am. become obsessed. You become a different person. I am. I'm not the same. I'm not the same person I was like two years ago. Me too. Um, when I get up in the morning, it's kind of like, you know, okay, what, what do I need to do today? You know, you take care of your basics, okay. but I got a routine. I meditate when I first get up. I meditate every morning. Um, and I, well, I'm, I usually, because of TM, I learned TM last year, you meditate twice a day. So yeah. when, when I get off of this, I usually meditate before seven o'clock at night. I, it, they tell you not to wait past that much, but I meditate yeah. every day, listening to personal development. If I have an opportunity now tonight, I have an opportunity to get on a webinar at nine o'clock to hang out with an eight figure earner. There you go. That's it. And most people won't do that. Um, you know, there's something else and I don't watch that much TV anymore. Yeah. I used to watch a lot more TV. Um, yeah, it's really, it's, um, and most people don't get it. Not, I mean, I've pissed people off, my family, my, I have a friend that uh, we're talking Me too. We didn't, we haven't talked, we didn't talk in over two years. She lent me $8,000 when I really needed it. And I, I, I told her at that time, I pay you back every penny. And I did. Um, and when you're broke, to borrow that kind of money from somebody and then say to somebody, because I think that's nasty to borrow money from somebody and not pay them back. Oh, exactly. But we didn't, and she's wealthy. But we didn't talk for two years. I mean, I, it, it, and I didn't want to lose her friendship, but she doesn't understand. Linda, no one is going to understand our journey. No. They're not going to understand why we work seven days a week. Right. You know, my family, you know, yeah, they got upset at me, but, but you know what? They know I'm building a business. And right. they know once I'm focused, like you can't, you can't pull me away. Like I'm very determined, you know, like I was in school. Linda, I graduated summa cum laude twice in two different degrees. Top 1% of my graduating school. Did you really? I wow. Find so there's no job security. Straight A student. Straight A student. And I could not find a job. Okay? And, uh, yeah, and you do have, you have a bunch of degrees, don't you? Yeah. And I couldn't find a job. And when I did find a job, $12 an hour, what the hell am I going to do for $12 an hour when I have tons of student loans, thousands of dollars, thousands? It's the know? job market. It's yeah. the job market. It sucks. But Linda, this is the mindset, though, your parents teach you when you're a child. That's Go to true. school, get high grades, and when you get out of school, you will be an employee and you will get a good job. And well, you know what? My mindset wasn't like that when I went back to school. I didn't need another degree because it got me nowhere. Yes, I'm highly educated, but if I had found this business, who knows how, where I would have been right now, how far I would have came. And there's no, there's no, that job security doesn't exist anymore. It's just not the no. economy. As technology gets better, more, exactly. and more jobs are being lost. I mean, before 2008, I could have gotten any job I wanted. And after that, forget it. And you're highly qualified. You're very educated. You worked in, in cancer research. Couldn't get a job. See? And you couldn't get a job. And you have years and tons of experience. Right. And you couldn't get a job. And they don't, if, if it was a, a company has a job that was, this is what I found out. They have a job that they paid 90 grand a year. Just say, they can, that what they end up doing is they bring somebody in at half or less. Because oh, they yeah. know they'll get somebody to take it. It's true. It's true. You can't I, survive on that. After you pay taxes, you cannot survive on that. You're going to be living paycheck to paycheck. You can't. Right. And I, I Unless was you get a bunch of roommates. Like, you know what I'm saying? 
right. there's no job security and so many people they're scared to start their own business right and they're scared and what you were talking about earlier about going on video they're afraid to go on video i'm telling you guys whoever's still on here if you're not yeah. live stream if you're not going live on facebook you're leaving money on the table if you would go you live are. every day for 90 days straight um you would your your world your You'd see, because I'm telling you, I don't know what it is about the live stream that people like to see you. I mean, you do get more views um, after you upload it. But if, I'm telling you guys, if you're not using video, this morning I went live. I got a bunch of leads. I got some sales from from going live. I mean, I ha and I have yet when we get off, I'll share that. I'll go into some of the groups and share that live. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I will so. be doing my live as soon as I get my, my gift. <laughs> what's your gift the same gift you got today <laughs> oh oh okay all right okay i didn't get mine yet i'm like waiting every day i'm like so excited okay. where is it where is it you know okay okay all right yeah because i um yeah i ended up i got a couple sales from that and i got a bunch of leads and i'm i, I still i'll share it out um yeah share it out let everyone see come on guys you know what only you could change your destiny right only you I mean, are you guys comfortable going to a job every day that you hate? I don't think so, right? Being right. underpaid? I was right there with all the education I have. You know, and what you're going to do when you're desperate for a job? I made the decision never to go back on another interview and have to sit there and have some interviewer ask me, so why do you need this job? What right. did you do three years ago? Why is your resume not filled in? Meanwhile, Linda, I spent $400 to hire a, a, a resume writer to write my resume. I know. Okay. Nadia, you don't have to tell me. It's 400 bucks. 400 bucks. It landed me a job paying $12.50 an hour. That's what I got. I mean, that's the only yeah. job. And I'm, I was grateful for that job. I ended up losing. I wouldn't have left, but I ended up losing that job, too. It kept me alive. But, I mean, the thought, I mean, I interviewed at Home Depot for $9 an hour, and they didn't call me back. I sent applications to Home Depot. I was like, I need to suck up my pride and just apply everywhere. I, I, I didn't was... apply to any fast food restaurants. I didn't get to that point. I, but I, I applied everywhere. And you know, you had to apply for everything online. Right. They didn't even contact me because after they saw my resume and all this qualification, they're like, oh, no, she's, you know, no, no point. That's what it is. My na one neighbor, her, her son, um, he has a friend that took a job. He has a PhD at Home Depot. He's like 30 years old. That's the only job he could make. It's part-time, 28 hours, $9 a, a, an hour. He has this a is what I'm saying. He has a PhD. PhD. You know how many years of school that is to make $9 an hour, guys? Guys, we're, we're, not, we're not. This is the honest truth. It's the reality. This is the honest truth. It is. You know? It is. It, it's, and if you, even if you have a job, and if you like your job, that's great. I'm telling you, create another stream of income. Yeah. You need right. to create another stream of income because you're not guaranteed you're going to have that job. And right. let's say your salary goes up. Guess what they're going to do, guys? They're going to get you out and hire someone where they can pay half the price. It is. Is it the is. truth? It's true. It's true. I mean, I took a temporary job at Lowe's. I didn't tell too many people this. It was $11 an hour as a summer job. They put me on the cash, the cat front cashier. They didn't train me. And I, I mean, if the computer didn't work, then I'd have to go get somebody and the line would get longer. And then they put me on a night shift. I had to go clean all the bathrooms before I went home. Oh, my God. Linda, I did bartending last year. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's not like be, you're on your feet. Yeah, I didn't. Well, yeah, I had to clean like the, the, the bar, all of this stuff. And seriously, I wasn't even making a lot of money. OK, because the, the owner of the, the club. He was favoring the other bartenders, so he gave them all the better spots where they were making more money. I wasn't allowed to sell bottles. It's like I was a friggin' slave, like cleaning up. And I don't care. He's on my Facebook. He can listen to this. I had to clean the bar. I had to go clean the bathroom, clean all the tables. Listen, this is not something I would see myself doing. This is something I will not do. But the fact is I couldn't get a job. When you can't get a job, this is what you do, do right? Yeah, I had to clean the bathroom. I'm not embarrassed to say it, right? I cleaned the bathroom. I had to clean the bar. I was on my feet for all these hours and I was not even making enough money in tips. And it's exhausting. Okay. So this is what you do. And you know what? And from working nights, I would come home and couldn't even sleep during the day because I'm so wired on Red Bull. Right. And yeah, I hated it. And you know what? It didn't last long. <laughs> I, I, I love what I'm doing now. That's why I work 15 hours a day.
because so I don't have to do any of that crap. Right. No, I mean, that's it. I mean, I, I mean, the thought, and when I lost the second job, I did what I had to do for unemployment to collect it, but I didn't look. I mean, I had to go yeah. sit at a thing that they, they make you go to, and the questions were asking, how many job interviews have you gone on, and how many jobs have you applied for? The, the truthful answer was zero, but I didn't want to lie, so I left them blank, and I figured yeah. unemployment can contact me, and unemployment's so unorganized, at least here in the state of Pennsylvania, nobody called me, but I didn't answer, because I just, it, you can spend two to three hours right now for applying for one job. Oh, I know. Um, so I just, you're telling I mean, me? listen, I applied to Home Depot. I applied to Costco. I applied to BJ's one application. They want you to tell your whole life story guys for, I don't know how much they pay, like $10 and I'm, who, who knows what they pay. I was just applying everywhere right. for each application took me about an hour. They want to know if you have a criminal record. They want to know, you know, if you can, oh, well, I don't have a criminal record, but you know what I mean? They want to ask you 101 questions. Right. For and some of what pack, pack stuff on a shelf, right? And some of them give you a, um, a personality <clears throat> test. I've had to take. Oh them. yeah, and I have to like take a personality hour. test. Yeah, and they, because they're weeding people out. I mean, because one of the questions is one of the questions was, "Do you like everyone?" And I said, "No." <laughs> That's the truthful answer. I didn't hear. About I don't it. like everyone. No, I don't. And I don't <laughs> either. I can't lie about that and be like, yeah, I like you when I don't, because you'll know. Right. And that, that was the truthful answer. And um, th those are the kinds of questions because they're looking for a certain kind of person. And that they yeah. weed, they'll weed you out. It's just the exactly. truth. Exactly. Yeah. It's the truth. So, you guys, I hope you guys got value out of this. And Nadia is sharing her one-year story. Um, David, if you're self-employed, do you still feel like it's a job? And if you're doing network marketing, there's a better way to do it because if it if you don't if you feel like it's still a job, then there's a better way to do it. Guys, I'm living proof right here. One year, right. one year, and I never felt like giving up because I have a vision. I knew where I was going, and I knew it took work to get there. And I, and I'm, I still have a lot of work to get there because I'm not where I want to be, but I know I'm going to get there. You know. Yeah. And I've wanted, I mean, my, what's different about me, I want, I've wanted to quit a million times, getting frustrated. <laughs> and you will, you have, I mean, Nadia's been having a, an issue with her new computer. You have issues oh, yeah. with that. I, I deleted my blog at one point. Um, and I had a lot of emotion. <laughs> oh my God, Linda, I had Twitter lead machine on my other computer. I know. That you took see. me a month to build that Twitter lead machine, a whole month, 15 hours a day. Cause I, I was so determined, you know, I know. I know. Writing content for each for my blog post and have to link it to the Twitter lead machine. Oh my God, Linda! I know. It, it looks like I might have to build another Twitter lead machine, and I don't even want to get started with that. It, and it's it's one of the frustrations if you're doing this. You can yep. have frustrations with Facebook. Facebook is constantly changing. Constantly. Right. Um, well, don't give up if it's your only your fifth year. I've been in this over six years. I didn't make any money for the first four. But you're uh, making money now. I'm making money now. <laughs> yeah. Linda, see, you you are a determined person. I like uh, I like being around people that are determined because and it I, rubs off on me. I cannot be with people that are pessimistic. You know, I need to be people that are, be around people that are optimistic as I am. And what happens if I'm hanging around people that are negative, guys? It starts bringing me down. This is why, you know, I cannot be around negative people. I can't. Right. And it's, um, you know, for me, Nadia, I mean, if I didn't make this work, I'd be totally fucked. D excuse my language, but it's true. <laughs> I know. It's, it's, my pain has pushed me every single day. And if you guys, I, I get in funks. I feel like there's times I don't want to work and I still do it anyway. Yeah, you have to. You yeah. have to. You got to show up. Yeah, take we, breaks. Listen, guys, we're going to have days where we feel exhausted. Like we're not getting anything done where people, you know, every day is different. Every day is not going to be the same. Look, I have days where I can recruit six people in one day. Right. But then there are days where I can recruit one person a day. So every day is not going to be the same. Right. And you're going to get you know, frustrated. Yeah. And there are going to be days you're not even going to recruit anyone. Right. Or you're not going to feel like doing any work. Um, and then, you know, if, yep. you're, if, you're having, if you're having a problem being consistent, go get a notebook, sit down and write down why you're doing this. 
Exactly. Really, th really pare down while you're, um, you're doing this, because if your why is strong enough, you'll figure out the how. And I found that most people, that's fine if you have a job you want to hate, but if you're not being consistent, it's probably not going to push you enough. You need to f find a bigger why, a stronger why. Um, because exactly. I mean, if you've got that paycheck, if I still had my paycheck from the first job, the one I lost in 2011, because I was making really good money, I did what I wanted, I didn't have any debt, I, I probably wouldn't have, made, you know, gotten to where I'm at. I had that exactly. company, every two weeks, I have not had a paycheck like that since, you know, well, in five years, five, five or six years. So uh, your wife, your wife's not, you know, if you're not being consistent, or you don't, you know, how bad do you want this? I know people that um, wanted this so bad. I know one guy that he had to go to an event. He didn't have the money for a hotel. He didn't even have money to split a room. He just had the money for, to get an airline ticket. He slept outside the room where the event was. He just he just parked himself up against the wall and slept there on the floor. And I'm sure he's doing very well now. He is. He is. He said you he know? said I wanted it really bad. That's it. You have to have the drive, guys. If you want this really bad, it's going to happen. Right. It's going to happen. Right. You know, if you want it really bad. And you have to be consistent. You do. You have to be consistent. The minute you're not consistent, you don't want this bad enough. Right. It's, um, you know, you know look, to, you go get it. I'm serious. Go to Walmart and get a really cheap notebook and sit down and write down why you're doing this. Yep. I mean, because if, if your why is not strong enough, and there's, and there's nothing against people who have full-time jobs. There's a lot of people in this space. They're doing this part-time. There's nothing wrong with that. And I tell you to create another stream of income. But if your why, the reason you're, what brought you here isn't strong enough, chances are, I mean, and I, and I say that and I use the word fuck, and I know some people might get offended, but if I didn't make this work, I was totally fucked. <laughs> I, Linda, I had to make this work. My ex was helping me financially, guys. And he was great, but you know what? He got tired. My bills were five thousand dollars a month, right? And he was covering my bills, paying for my Mercedes and everything when we broke up, guys. I didn't come out and tell you guys this, you know. But this is what he did for me, you know, when we broke up. And I was going on job interviews, couldn't find a job. I was depressed. I was stressed out. But he was giving me five thousand dollars a month that was supporting me, paying my bills, my car payments, everything, you know, and. When I first started this business last year and I told him, no, the beginning of this year, last year, yeah, last year, he was like, you're not going to do well in this business. He goes, you should get a job. I said, where the hell am I going to get a job? I can't even find a job. No one wants to hire me. I said, what am I going to do? I said, if I don't try to make this work, you're going to be supporting me for God alone knows how long. <laughs> I wow. told him that because, you know, he's not the type of person that would leave me struggling. He's not that type of guy, even though we wasn't together. He still supported me financially, put money in my, in my account, you know, $5,000 a month. No man would do that. No man would do that. And he was getting tired of it. Yeah. You know, he's like, listen, he goes, I'm giving you like 60 grand a year. Right. You know? Right. And he was. And he's on my Facebook too. Yeah, I don't know. He probably watches my videos, but, you know, thank God for him. That actually helped me. Right. Because you, know? you, you are going to, there's people, and there'll be different people for different people, you know, that will come along and help you. Because I've had some people do some things for me. Uh, like when I didn't have any money to buy food, I had a couple of my neighbors, they brought me food. One of them actually yeah. gave me money because my family, everybody was pissed off. I was cutting out mold of the food that I had in my refrigerator or eating expired. The can said expired and I ate, I mean, I could have gotten really sick, but I didn't yeah. have any money. Or the, yeah, the you winter, know? I didn't have any heat in my house and I needed $500 to get the heater fixed. It was like 20 degrees here. I, I mean, if you, t you know, everybody sees people, come, you know, now I've had a lot of people message me since I hit member of the month and then I just hit another rank and they think they see the success and then yeah. they have no idea what somebody went through because it, nope. it, it's different for everybody. I mean, Nadia came in here, she's been here for a year and that's not where I, I wasn't even, I mean, I was just barely getting on Facebook after a year um, and th that's not my path. And then Lisa Torres, you can go, guys can go look her up. She was in network marketing for 18 years. She made $20 and she's yep. made, and she's made, she's making millions. She just had a custom house built in Atlanta. Um, and she had a lot of personal tragedy in her life. She lost her mom, her two sisters, her one sister raised her other, she raised her one sister's son. 
Uh, she had, and I think she went through a divorce. She lost a job too. So yeah, I mean, it's different for everybody. I've seen some people come online. They've made it to six figures in a year, but that's unusual. That, that is unusual. But you know what, Linda? They have, they have their vision and they wasn't going to stop until they get there. Right. Right. You have to have, you have to have, vi and you have to make your you mind. You got to have a vision. You you're have not... to have a vision guys. This is not an easy business, but if you're determined and you're, you're serious and you want this and you, you start fall, get plugged in with some of the top leaders, right. you're going to get results, but you have to be consistent and you have to be plugged in. If you're not consistent and you're not plugged in, no one can help you. Right. Right. You, you got to be consistent. Most people struggle with that, Nadia. They do. I know. Um, so check your whys, um, why you're doing this, because uh, if your why's not, you know, you're probably not going to get there. And everybody that you see having success, you don't know what the story is. I know. Before. Mark Harbert, it took him 12 years to get to six figures. And when he started, he was in foreclosure. And he tells a story when he went and looked in his refrigerator and his baby, his, his girl, his daughter was really a baby. There was no food. They didn't have any money. And he just kind of looked at his wife saying, you know, we're broke. Um, so, and him and, and Frank's not around anymore. Frank was his business partner. They put, got $10 together. They needed $10. They were both broke. Oh, yes. I heard the story. Three, right. I heard him saying it. Right. So you don't know what people's stories are. And Lisa Torres, yep. I say that because 18 years to be in something, and, and I'm sure she had all her family telling her, oh, it doesn't work, you're wasting your time, and she's making millions now. Yep. Yeah, 18 years. So, well, guys, I think Nadia and I have people messaging me here. Yes, I have people messaging me too. <laughs> so. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so thank you, Linda, so much for joining me on my one-year anniversary and, and giving your story and me telling them my one-year journey. Yep. And guys, you know what? This is only the beginning for me. This is only the first year. Right. I can only imagine where I will be in three years from now. I know. You know? It, it's fun to watch. It's fun. When it's you have, definitely fun to watch. Because um, I've had a lot of people. Doug Fireball left me a message the other day in chat and said, you know, he goes, you're a rising star. It's so cool to watch. And it is when, because most people, they're just messing around. Most people are yep. interested. Um, that, and that is true. Nothing it wrong is. with that, but that's not going to get you where you want to be. That's true. true. Happy anniversary, Nadia. Thank you, Linda. And um, I want to thank you guys. Wow, we still have a lot of people on here. Yeah, we thank do. Thank you guys so much for uh, joining us and actually listening to both of our stories and our journey. And guys, this is only the beginning for me, you know? Right. It is. And I mean, we're both. We're rising now. stars right now. Both Linda and I, we're both. rising stars. Right, and we're not going and anywhere. And my goal is to actually be on stage next year. So yeah, I'm not going to stop until I get there. Yeah, me too. Now, yes, we know you and I will be on stage. Right, right, right. All right. Guys, thanks for coming on. Talk thanks to you for soon. coming on, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, Linda. So thank you all so much for joining me and Linda. And, um, you know, if you guys need to reach out for me for anything, Please free, feel free to send me a message on Messenger, and I'll be more than happy to get back to all of you, all right? Love you guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, everyone.